Hello, everyone. RBG Kim Kid here, back with more AI the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. In the previous video, we, uh. God, what did we do? I'll be completely honest, it's been a while. Um. Oh, yeah, we found the body of. of Toka, Tokito, or Tokiko. And then we, uh, did this investigation, and now we're continuing on our search. So we got more places to look for, so. Let's go. And then, yeah, we heard her song again, so. All right, let's go here. I I would not be surprised if the next person, Somnium, we go into is uh, the kids here. Is uh, Shoma. I would not be surprised about that at all, so. Oh, yeah, we also got a little bit of backstory of Ry Ryuki. So oh, that's good. Mr. Ryuki, what are you doing here? Here to see me on stage, perhaps? Sorry, but I won't be performing today. He isn't. Seriously, why is her head like Actually, that? Is that like a mask or something? I'm here to talk to Shoma. To Shoma? Are we in the Ferris wheel? Yep. Why am I on a Ferris wheel with you? Aren't you having fun? I would be if you weren't here. Ryuki, Shoma is actually responding to the conversation this time. This is proof that the chastity belt of his heart is loose. If you shove yourself in there, he just might open up. He's a kid, Tama. You please not phrase it like that. Child. Hayato. Ryuki, why don't you try jumping off? No. Well, I can't really see anything else. Here. All right. Oh, well, kid. I don't want to talk about my dad. I told you before. I don't even want to think about him. Will you cut it out already? I don't want to talk about my dad. I already told you. I hate him. Yeah, no, you didn't tell us that part. <laughs> Happy now? I hate him so much. I didn't even want to say it out loud. But you were with him earlier. I was here alone at first. Then Dad came. He wanted to make up. Make up? Dad and I are fighting. I ran away from home yesterday. You ran away from home? My friends made fun of me. How is that related to your dad? Because it's my dad's fault for being so pathetic. Pull yourself together. Show me how cool you can be on TV. That's what I said to my dad. Then... I bring smiles to the audience. If I can do that, I don't care if I get mocked. That's what it means to be an entertainer. When he said that, I blurted out, That's why Mom got sick of you and left. Dad turned bright red, and... Then why don't you just leave too? That's why I left the house. Do you think I could like someone like him? A stupid old comedian who gets clowned on all the time. Getting clowned on. He barely on. ever goes on TV either. And when he does, it's always some ridiculous thing like getting piping hot Odin shoved into his mouth. The day after he goes on air, I always get made fun of by my friends. I hate it. I'm sick and tired of it. I told you, I hate him. Everything about him. I hate how much he drinks and how he acts so cocky and stubborn when he's drunk. He talks about all these big dreams that he can never achieve. When he sobers up, he remembers what he did when he was drunk and squirms under the blankets. Ooh. Isn't that sad? It makes me hate him even more. The way his nose hair is always sticking out, the way he wipes his face with sanitary napkins, his stupid awful singing in the bathtub, everything about him is creepy Awful and pathetic. I hate him. For hating someone so much, he sure pays him a lot of attention. Say. They say there's a fine line between love and hate. 
All right, we're done with him. I told you before, she's just a classmate. We're not friends, and I don't yeah, know you much. Stay about away her. from her. Supposedly, she's attending school from her house near the harbor, but I guess her permanent address is in our school district or something. That's why she goes to the same school as me. So you do know a lot about her. No, that doesesn't mean anything. Not like I'm slightly interested in that uggo. Uh huh. Well, we'll see how you it like really in six years, kid. kid. That robot you showed me the other day was really cool. If you're that skilled, I'm sure you've gotten offers from lots of companies. N not really. I'm nothing special. I'm just really into Why robots. Why is everyone in this game like, like even super an smart, but all the people you play as besides Mizuki is dumb as doornails? And the one wheel design is beautiful. Well, well not everyone I knew it had smart. to run on one wheel for sure. It was really hard getting the self-stabilization feature working with the one wheel design. Like this kid's smart, Mizuki's super smart, Iris is decently smart. Everyone else is just complete and utter like, idiots, besides Iba and Tama so far. electronics companies make one wheel robots to show off their advanced tech. Mm-hmm. Also, what's really great about my robot is its load capacity. It doesn't look like it, but it can easily carry up to 45 pounds. And I want to upgrade it more so it can carry double that. I see. Let's say 45 isn't bad, but it's not a lot either. <laughs> I know you don't really care. Looks like it won't go the way it did last time. Hmm. I guess flattery won't get us anywhere. Uh, oh. It's no good. Shoma won't open up no matter what I, I didn't even up. talk about the last Looks one. Looks like oh, we well. won't get through with the orthodox method. That means... We'll have to try our luck with his father. I still had one more thing to talk about. I kind of hate that. You pick, like, three things and then it just auto-advances. Because I picked, like, the magical ones or something like that. Here we are again. Boy, I'm glad you invited me on the Ferris wheel, too. Thank you. Our objective is still to unlock Shoma's chastity belt. You're still going on with that? It would be tough to question Komeiji about tricky subjects if Shoma was nearby. That's why you invited him here, right? Yeah, but... Now that I think about it, we rode this Ferris wheel together two days ago. Well, Mr. Ryuki, it yeah. seems like your investigation is going around in circles. <laughs> That's your best one so far, so I'll give you that so, uh, one. What is it you wanted to talk about? I'll give if you it's that about one. The case, there isn't much else to say. So, when are you jumping off? I am not jumping off. So, when are you jumping off? I like Toma's voice actress. Uh This is the only outfit I have right now. I actually have another set of personal clothes, but I ruined those two days ago. But this bow tie, that'll be fine as long as I have this. Isn't it nice? Shoma bought it for you, didn't he? That's right. Even if I only have one set of clothes. I can wear this or take it off depending on how I'm feeling and wow. It's as if I changed into a completely different outfit. Not really. Yeah. Yeah. Again, why Oops, is your hair head terrible squared if I like lost this? It, so I'd better put it back on. Huh. This tie, Shoma chose it for me so I could really shine on stage. When I wear it, it feels like Shoma is cheering me on. It gives me strength. It's my most precious treasure. With some careful consideration, Thomas Kojima that it's highly likely someone lied about the message in Bats Show 49. Shoma lied? Yes. I see. Yeah, why didn't I, don't I bring that up that to him? I hidden message thing, but Shoma is a good boy. He wouldn't lie for no reason. I know that's not that convincing coming from his father, but he must have had a reason to lie. I used to be a real big shot back when I was known as the Quiz King, remember? But I let it get to my head, and as soon as I became a comedian, things flipped completely. There was no hope for me to move up in the world. My wife got sick of me and left. 
I've been raising my boy alone ever since. And yet... Not at all. I'm proud of being a comedian. At the same time, I'm not proud of my lack of success. I've put Shoma right. through so much hardship. It's inexcusable. I have no idea. I can't really talk to him right now myself. I'm sure you're aware, okay. but sure I got in an argument with Shoma yesterday. What is that? Shoma oh. made it for me when he was little, but yesterday he ripped it up and threw it away. It was really important to me. Hmm. I want to make up, but he... It must be difficult, considering how things are now. It's all my fault. The argument only happened in the first place because of my lack of success. Well, I hope these two make up. I think... I think what they're trying to do, they're trying to do an Ota and his mother kind of similar um, story with these two. Mr. Ryuki, there is something I'd like to talk to you about. I feel what like that's it? what they're somewhat doing in a way. No, never mind. Please forget it. What was that about? It sounded like you wanted to tell me something important. Hey, Ryuki, why don't you try wink syncing with him? Yeah, I'll try taking a peek. Wait, would I be... Maybe I'm going to sync with him next. Why am I standing? Because I couldn't do this animation while sitting. Hey, asshole. I know you're in there. Deadline on the payment passed a long time ago. Cough it up, you bastard. Uh, it's the loan sharks again. A different set of guys came by yesterday and the day before that. I've been borrowing from so many different places, I don't know who's who anymore. Anyway, what am I supposed to do? I can't talk to the police about it. Uh, uh. So, he's borrowed money from a lot of people. He must have been in real trouble if he even got involved with loan sharks. But why can't he talk to the police about it? Don't tell me. Supposedly he has connection to the Yakuza. Word is he's involved in some dangerous transactions. Alright, I forgot about that. Kameji, you wouldn't happen to be struggling with debt, would you? What? How did you- I knew it. That's what you wanted to tell me, right? Why can't you get the police involved? Is it because you're buying and selling on the black market? What are you talking about? I would never do something like that. I'm trying to ask him any more questions. No matter how much I question him, he didn't admit to anything involving the yak any involvement with the yakuza. In the end, I was unable to find any clues to the key to Shoma's heart. Yet, even though I wasn't ask, able to ask him why he lied to me. Huh. Shoma isn't here. Where did that boy run off to? We still haven't made up. I'm sorry, Mr. Ryuki. I need to go find Shoma now. So, well, bye for now. Excuse me. Meiji and Shoma, huh? It's clear that they're both hiding something. Even if we chase them down and asked again, we'd get the same result. I guess we have no choice. Let's go somewhere else for now. Yeah, let's. Alright, there's probably nothing here. Alright, let's go to Marble.
Why is she here? Oh, Ryuki, honey, welcome. It's been so long. Sorry, Mama, but I'm not here as a customer today. I was wondering if you knew anything about the case. Do you mean the HB case? Yeah. Mame and Gen are here. But they're acting strange. They're both quiet, turned away from each other. Two crystal balls on top of the counter. Alcohol. Ryuki, you ever do stuff on a bar counter before? Like what? You know, something that starts with S. I don't think so. Really? Well, I've served customers here before. Wow. Pickled. How oh, that was loving, loving, I have no idea. You count the number of bottles, and nothing happens. What a waste of time. Bottles lying on the counter. Spine says anyone can become a necromancer. Ryuki, want to see a video of naked men hugging each other in the dirt? Oh, yes, please. It's just a sumo video. Really can't even like look at the cards. So fa. Uh. Specialty socks. No double dipping. Huh. Huh. Wow. Entrance Don't exam see. pajama paradance. It's a movie about crashing an entrance exam in pajamas and doing the para para dance. Calling a sumo wrestler. All right, Mama, what's up? Oh wait, hold on. This picture. It's painting that's been up since the bar opened. It was supposedly a gift from a regular here. Wasn't that the painting from uh, Mizuki's father? I believe it was. She's lovingly polishing two crystal balls. Is that a crystal ball? Yes, these are my big milky balls. Milky. Balls? Oh, but I'm not talking about testicles, honey. Milky. Yeah, Ball? I know. Is that from like a movie or something? As a side business, and believe it or not, I actually gained the ability to hear them. Voices from other dimensions. Uh, other dimensions? Yes. One day, I was suddenly gifted with the power. I suppose it's more accurate to call it a seance than fortune telling. Yeah. You both sound pretty fishy. You're just going to pretend you're hearing voices, aren't you? No, I'm completely serious. I mean, I don't even remember what happens while hearing the voices. Oh, why don't we give it a try? I could ask about the HB case. You might believe me if you see it in person. No, it's okay. No need to be so modest. It'll be free of charge. Then let me ask the Milky Balls. The Milky Can you Balls. Stop calling them that. 
Oh, great set of balls. Who is the most beautiful in all the land? That is Mama, of course. Oh, my. <laughs> you flatterer. <laughs> That's not even what I wanted to ask. And the answer is completely wrong. That was just a joke. I figured. Ahem. Now, let's try this for real. Oh, great set of milky white balls. I need you to give me some clues for an investigation. One after another, victims have been torn in half in Yuck. these half-body murders. Where can we find the key to exposing the culprit? You know, it's crazy that there's two of these balls. There's a left and a right, so... Face. A hidden face. What? The true face, as yet unrevealed to all. That is where the answer is hidden. Mama, your Dio is showing! Yes, this is the voice huh? actor for Dio from Did JoJo's just Bizarre Adventure. Did I say something? I told you, I black out during these seances. Don't remember a thing. Mama, your Dio is showing. Let's see. The first thing that comes to mind is... Gen's face hidden under his mask. But he's sensitive about it. It's not something I can just ask. Yeah, and it's hard to say if this is really related to the case or not. The only other thing I can think of is... Ah! Jin Furaway! Huh? It might also apply to Jin. But Jin's face is well known. Yeah, it's not like he hides it. It's true that photos of his face have been all over the place. But he's never actually gone out in public in person. Not really? even once? Not even once. That's It's not because he's shy, is it? If that were the case, his photos wouldn't be out there either. I've heard he's an extreme narcissist. He circulates all those pictures himself. Oh, did I seriously pick the right options? Fucking By hell. the way, Mama, what's up with those two? Well, the thing is, they had a bit of a differing of opinion. What do you mean? No, Mama, the problem is Genny's total lack of common sense. My lack of common sense? Are you sure you're not talking about yourself? You sound like a stupid person right now. What? You're the one who sounds stupid. You probably couldn't even beat the first question of the All-American Ultra Quiz. W wait wait what is this argument even about? Well, we're having a disagreement. All right, you jerk. Why don't we get a neutral third party and ask them? <laughs> That's what happened. So we came to Marble to get Mama's opinion. And that's where we're at. But when I gave my input, it only made things more complicated. I know. Now that Ryuki's here, let's see what he thinks. Yeah, then we'll know for sure who's right. So, question time. Huh? What's the name of the island where the Statue of Liberty in New York is located? Isn't it, um... Yeah, it's Ellis Island. That's right. You too? Are you serious? That's ridiculous. It can't be. Yeah, the isn't Statue it Ellis of Liberty Island? is definitely on Liberty Island. I think it's Ellis Island. Island. Fuck me, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. It is Ellis Island. It is Liberty Island. No, it's true that the Statue of Liberty is on Ellis Island. I'm an idiot. I mean, there's no such thing as Liberty Island anyway. I don't believe this. No. Something is off here. Tama, what do you think? Of course it's Ellis Island. This is common knowledge. No. Look, I just no. looked it up online. Now do you see? The Statue of Liberty is located on Ellis Island. As you can see here, there's no such island as Liberty Island. 
I'm sorry, Gen. Mame is right. Impossible. See? Anyway, they've been butting heads about the location of the Statue of Liberty this whole time. Okay, I feel like if I said Liberty Island, we will have had the same conversation, but with that instead. Huh. But it looks like they finally came to a conclusion. I see. If you all say so, I must be the one who's wrong. I'm sorry, Amame. I was mistaken. Actually, you know what? No, fuck it. Next, mm. No, I guess we'll keep going down this line. Well, as long as you understand now, that's good enough for me. I was Everyone honestly, makes mistakes. I was thinking about rewinding this, but I was like, no, no, let's, let's see where this goes. Let's see where this heads. Even though I guess I technically continued this no, without thinking. I need thinking. to get to work soon, so I'm heading out. I'll stick around for a bit longer. Okay, then I'll see you three later. What about your restaurant, Gen? I closed up shop for the day. I couldn't acquire any ingredients I was satisfied with. Really? Closed for a reason like that? It's really important to me. It would be rude to serve mediocre dishes to my customers. I think I'll go to the warehouse district at the harbor after this. I thought I could watch the waves and think up new dishes. ability to hear voices from people in other dimensions mama you're always so beautiful i love mama so much mama's a, one of the best oh, characters to oh along with my, Mizuki. you flatterer hallucinations maybe a manifestation of her repressed desires but it felt different the second time she did it when she mentioned the thing about hidden faces. Yeah. Amame and I go way back. There are times when we have arguments over little things like you saw earlier. We're basically family at this point. So if anything ever happened to her, I would do everything I could to help. I believe that I have to protect her, no matter what. Mm. I'm not worried about that in the slightest. Ota from Matsushita Diner doesn't understand the first thing about the true essence of cooking. True essence of cooking. Yes, I love that place. I can watch the ocean in silence with no one around. I find it very soothing. For some reason, Date seems to go there often as well. I have been very close with Date for some time. He often stops by Brahmin before coming here to drink. I trust him. There are only three people who weren't afraid of me the first time they saw me. Date, Amame, and Lian. You know Lian too? Lian? Yes, he's a regular at Brahman as well. Lian just wandered in one day while Date was there. They hit it off right away and had quite a lively discussion. I joined them after closing up for the day and the three of us drank until morning. Huh, that's an interesting group. I can't imagine what you three would talk about. Probably porno mags or something. What are they, teenagers? Oh, we talked a lot about porno mags. <laughs> Putting Date, Amame, and Lian aside, my appearance makes most people uncomfortable. But if I didn't wear this mask, I would scare them even more. If I recall, your face has a congenital condition. Yes. Would you like to see? What? My face. No, you don't have to if you don't want to. Not that I'm trying to avoid it or anything. I said that, but to be honest, a part of me wanted to see. Not out of curiosity, face. but because of Mama's words. A hidden face. The true face, as yet unrevealed to all. That is where the answer is hidden. Oh. 
Clearly against Skull. It didn't seem like the answer to solving the case was hidden there. I mean, there was another masked person we met on the docks. Just saying. Just saying. No point in staying here much longer. I wonder if we will see his yes, uh, face on. at some point. Well, again, Mama, I'll be going now. Very well. Please take care. Stop by to get a break from work every once in a while. All right, Linden Scape. Let's see what you got for us, Iris. So far, we have been going into new people's heads, so I kind of like that. But I'm curious if we'll say, like, go into Ota's or, um, Ota's or, uh, Iris's again at some point. Well, well, well. Ah, really? Looks like we have we the whole circus recording. here. Oh, good timing. But why are these two here? I just happen to be here by chance. Me too. I'm here completely by coincidence. Liars. Okay, then. So, what is it you wanted to tell me about the There's case? There's the reception lady. Yeah. She's the third oh, best character. Who, who the hell is that? Hmm? Ah, it's her again. What? Talk about sketchy. Maybe someone from the talent agency? I don't know. I couldn't see their face, so it's hard to say. Seems dangerous. But I'll put my life on the line to protect Tessa. I, I, I mean, Iris. So, uh, don't you worry. Why did you say Iris? Me too. Said Tessa. Let's go to a Tommy together, yes. There's a receptionist sitting behind the desk. There's a receptionist with... Ah, she's the one saying it. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting. There's a receptionist with huge breasts. Huge breasts. Huge breasts. 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 There are huge breasts sitting behind the desk. <laughs> That's the exact same it's one okay. too. You don't have to say it. You want to rub these soft things, don't you? No, I wasn't. Oh, fine. Just for a bit, okay? It's her hair again. Here or you her go. Shoulders. I moved over oh, her earlobes and began vigorously rubbing both of her earlobes. They were softer than I expected. Are you okay? What are you doing? <laughs> I turned to where I was. I was just looking at me as though I was scouring the earth. Ah, oh, it's the exact same. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hello. Wow. Total hottie. What? You are the best character. Oh, this is perfect. Third best I character. I was just starting to get bored. Come on, let's have a chat, cutie. A little tete a tete. Sorry. Tete -tete -tete. I have no idea what you're saying. Oh, and your voice is super mega hot too. Hottie for a thotty. Slide into my DMs. Hottie for a thotty. Um, I'm here to ask some questions for an investigation. Wait, you're with the police? Are you friends with Date by any chance? Yeah, he he's my superior. Oh my god, it's such oh a small god. world. Crazy. Why is this woman a receptionist? Likely a decision made by the company president. Mizuki? Yep. No. The former president. What? What are you <laughs> talking about, Ryuki? <laughs> yes. No, I was just suddenly overcome with an inexplicable urge to go to a Tommy. Let's go to a Tommy. Forget the investigation. I'm going to a Tommy with her. I've already made up my mind. Don't try to stop me. Oh my God, yes. Did you take crazy pills this morning or something? Yes. Wait a minute. Are you serious? Yes. Do I look like I'm joking? Seriously, another ending. Ryuki, please. I have a bad feeling about this. Now, let's go to a Tommy together! Uh, okay. I took her hand, we ran out of Lemon Skate. <laughs> leaving Tessa behind, was that what it said? Or leaving Tama behind, leaving Tama behind. Yes! <laughs> and then they turned. 
Let's go to Atame Part 2! Thus the case came to a close without being resolved. Goodbye, life as a police officer. Hello, Atame. Suzuko Prefecture. Get my new life as a staff member and in here in the Hot Springs District. The end. <laughs> Complete! <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. I Ah, uh, that's hilarious. I'm glad that was in here. Hey, am I gonna have to... Yeah, let's just go here. Damn, I probably should have saved first before I did all that stuff. Oh, well. Still, uh, yeah, I should have counted that in my thing, right? Oh, well. And that's why she was the first thing I ever talked about. Okay. Is Tommy gonna be one of the fiends? Mama. Oh, yeah, Mama. Uh, bark, bar break, informant, fortune teller, one claws, Bali Rava, sword fight, hate crimes, customers who puke in the bar, shine her crystal balls, watching Hiroka's promotional video. Fortune telling, guessing how big a guy is. The owner of the bar called named Marble and Golden and Yokocho. She knows a lot of information, even criminal or darker facts. Recently picked up fortune telling and has received some praise for her accuracy. But what does it say about like her other information up there? Age 30, okay. General, gender, gender neutral. Body. Cause it sounds like tit a tat. Come on. Super Meg. God damn, there's a lot of info for this. Thought. Do you really want me to explain this one? Oh, he never gets old. Oh my god. Oh, there was a... Oh, shoot, my, my thing has a thing too. Story branching. In this game, the story branches in Sonic from the flow chart. You can jump to a branching Sonic and find a different route in the game. I wonder if there's like a special thing for all of these guys. Love it. Alright, what's your question, boy? Ball. What haunted spot would you like to go to? Loving. How that was loving? I have no idea. Maybe I'll put a monitor that big in our office, too. What would you watch? Obviously, Tess. Tess. T -t testicle testicle videos testicle yeah. videos testicle videos that sounds really icky moma uh -huh. big breast i heard that painting is actually titled t n y e o it used to be called by another name you see it's called by another name every single time you clicked on it. Wow, well, there's a weird bug here. You're right. I've never seen it before. Ah, that's actually hilarious because there was a bug there in the first game too, and that's cool that they mentioned it. Do re mi so fa so fa so fucking old. All right, are we going to say high high school? Tessa, would you stand on that stool over there? What? Why? Well, that knocking was for me, but nope, it for sure is happening below. Special feature, useful ways to tie a rope. Huh. Ryuki, steal from me later. Over there, a Martian! 
him! You're wearing a mask. You're going to shoot? Can I help you? Mask is upside down. Look, a wooden <gasps> pony. Look over there, a Martian! Why are you I told here? you I just happened to be here. Bullshit. I just so happened to know Tessa's recording schedule. And I thought she might be thirsty after recording, so I got her a drink. In other words, yeah, he was thirsty, alright. Thanks for everything, Ota. <laughs> Fire! Hot, hot, Tessa! Shipping! Great, great, Tessa! Airplanes! Height, flight, Tessa! It's the brand new star of the net world, Tessa! Also known as ASET! You bet! So they're doing that whole name thing, but with Tessa now, instead of... Instead of ASET, you bet. I told you it was a coincidence. coincidence. For some reason, Tessa... Uh, ASET's recording schedule happened to be in my PC. I figured it was a cyber attack by a rival gang, so... I came here to scout things out just in case. That's a huge stretch. He was probably just waiting for her. Thanks for everything, Mr. Kumakura. <laughs> Shopping! Cart, Mart, Tessa! Gaming! Bike, Sprite, Tessa! Account! Shit, collect, Tessa! It's the brand new star of the net world, Tessa! Also known as Aset, you bet! Again, why you, why did you change your name from Ace to Tessa now? Oh well, not a big deal. All right, what's up? She just finished recording, but she doesn't look tired at all. She's truly professional. What you want to tell me? Two days ago, we were talking about the people who went missing after seeing Bats 490. Well, the same thing started happening with the people who saw the QR code video. What? I read about it online this morning. Many people have gone missing since seeing that video. Rumors say that the missing people are being rounded up in one location, and they're all getting murdered. You there. Is what you just said true? Huh? Y yeah Who the hell are you? Don't get one step closer. Th that's right. What are you trying to do to Tessa? Sorry to bother you. Okay. And they're gone. What was that all about? Um, about our discussion. Oh, right. Did someone you know go missing or something? No, it's not that. It's just a rumor I found online. Tama, how many people have gone missing lately? About 1,700 people have gone missing this week. It isn't particularly higher than usual. Hmm. There's oh, something we have last time too. going on in the HB case after all. Like half a corpse teleporting from another world. And people going missing after watching a video. There has to be some sort of supernatural phenomenon happening. I agree with Tessa. The occult are involved with the HB case for sure. Right? Yeah. Oh, boy. I mean, Nice is a part of all of this, right? Where did you hear that? It's all over the internet. Nice is a big proponent of the simulation theory. Oh, and I didn't know this a few months ago. I learned all this recently. If you think about that theory being correct, the case makes a lot more sense. After all, we are living in nothing but a simulation. And such programs always have some glitches lurking under the surface. Coincidences like this are a manifestation of such glitches. Proof of imperfection. Proof of the scenes. Okay, do I talk to Ota? Tessa! Tessa, Tessa, Tessa! Oh, Tessa! 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 That was an incredibly pointless wing sink. I'll be honest, all of them have been kind of pointless. Besides the one that actually advanced the stories. 
I'm no what expert on paranormal and occult stuff, but I know one thing for sure, so I gotta warn you. You should back out of this investigation. What do you mean? I don't know much about that nice group, but there's definitely a real dangerous organization involved in all this. If you get too deep, you might end up dead. Word's spreading in the underground. If the cops investigate any further, they'll make them disappear. Seems like the rich and powerful from all over the world are involved in this too. You piss them off. Who knows what they'll do to you? Rich and powerful? Could Mr. Sachima be involved in this too? Sachima? You mean the former politician guy? Yes. I thought so he died. Sachima. Was he not dead? Oh, but don't worry about it. He's I also just your father, him. Iris. Do you know that? In my head is all. Wait, you met with So? Yeah. Why? Because he invited me to his house. Because you're his daughter. For reason. He said he happened upon my videos online and thought they were interesting or something like that. I mean, you're Are his you daughter. Okay? He didn't do anything, did he? Not at all. We just talked for a bit. You're his daughter. Iris doesn't know So Sejima is her father. Okay, she doesn't. After the new Cyclops serial killing So Sejima's life as a politician ended. However, what So did wasn't technically illegal, so he hasn't been arrested or charged. He still has tons of money, so may not be a politician anymore. But he still holds a ton of power. Or the fact that he was involved in the murder of her real mother, Monica. Yeah, the people around her have been protecting her from that information. Fortunately, Iris doesn't really watch the news either. But in any case, the media hasn't found out Iris is Monica's father. Let's go to Tommy again. The simulation theory is probably true. There's even proof. Proof? Take a look at this. So I'll close my sockets and hand them to me. Doesn't this remind you of something? Like those nameless mob characters that show up in video games. You know they reuse assets to lower production costs. No. This is probably just some sort of coincidence. Like some synchronicity type thing? But there's more photographic proof. Uh, about the Do other photos? Do you still think it's a coincidence after seeing this? If you consider this stuff that can't be explained by science as a glitch in the simulated world... It can't be. Oh, Calm down, Ryuki. These are obviously doctored photos. Y yeah, you're right. In a nutshell, Since they're basically pretty. meaningful coincidences. For example, when you talk about someone and they just so happen to show up in front of you. Or when you hear the same word over and over from a bunch of different people. That kind of synchronicity. It's supposed to mean that there's a message behind it. A message from who? Well... <sighs> someone. All right, what's your take on it? I just thought of something listening to Ota. You can explain any paranormal phenomenon using the simulation theory. UFOs, umas, ghosts, superpowers. If this world is a simulation, they'd all be possible. Yeah, whether it's a glitch or alterations made on purpose, whatever it is would all make sense. Now, let's get going. For all that talking we did, we didn't get much useful information here. Yeah, but something has been bothering me. I'll keep what I heard here in mind, just in case. So are we going to so... Wait, are we going to so Sojima's house? didn't get anything useful for the case. There are some things that I've been thinking about, though. The biggest one being... The goal was to get inside the hidden room inside Horadori Institute. But in the end, so we, learned about we didn't this. find anything. 
we didn't really get anything from Marble, but we got something from that a one. A hidden room inside Horidori Institute? We have to look into this. After hearing about something like that. Well, I suppose so. So. Alright, our next destination is? Yeah. Horidori Institute. Yay. I'd probably be getting to another Somnium, but guess not. No one here. It's past business hours, so they probably all left. But the lights are on. Maybe someone forgot to turn them off? The entrance wasn't locked, too. I think someone forgot to lock it. There weren't any guards around. Must be on vacation. Okay, Tama? No, oh, fine. I'm sorry, okay? Yes, you're right. Something is clearly wrong. It's as if Thank someone you. is inviting us inside. A trap, maybe? For who? And why? No one could have known we were coming here. Then maybe it's for welcoming someone other than us. Who's there? Ryuki, living organism detected. They're alone. They must be hiding somewhere. There you are. Hey! I know you're there! Come on out! Well, we know who it is. So it's not a mask. He, his head is literally in that shape. For one reason or another. Kameji? What is he doing here? Y yes, I think he's at home right now. What do you mean? It was unlocked when I got here. Who knows? I don't even know myself. Before I knew it, I found myself here. Uh, maybe my brain is messed up from all the drinking. He's clearly lying. He's obviously hiding the real reason he's here. Now, how to make him talk? He may be hiding something on his person. Let's find out. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot. And then again, this is tied to Iba, so that has nothing to do with this since we haven't done that side yet. But remember at the end of the first game, well, like, I guess Iris could see Iba because of that surgery that she had to fix her tumors and such? So, curious. Is that... Why does he have that? Kameji, what are you hiding in your pocket there? I... I don't know what you're talking about. It's no use trying to hide oh, it. Holy shit, he's what got a gun! There? It's a pistol, isn't it? Kameji, can you please tell me what's going on? Holy shit, he's got a gun! <laughs> I'm sorry, but I feel like you should be able to catch up to him. What's going on here? I need answers. But he's completely hysterical. We won't be able to talk to him like this, and we can't wink sync either. We're only left with one choice. Ryuki, 
All right, I think I get the picture. Komeji was in Horadori Institute for some reason, and he even had a gun on him. So, you want to find out why? That's right. Okay, the preparations are complete. Let's get right to it then. <sighs> Ryuki. I'm sure you already know this, but the time limit inside Somnium is... Six minutes, I know. Okay. Then let's begin. Giving birth is extremely painful, and men can't handle the pain. One day, a genius scientist created a device that could share the pain of giving birth with the father. His first test subject was his wife. His wife was about to give birth, so he decided to try out the device. But for some reason, he felt no pain. Something wrong with the father. equipment? He had the power to 10%, then 20%, until he reached 100%. Right when she gave birth. And right after that, his assistant right next to him dropped dead from pain. Tama, 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 hot tamale! Well, what's the result? 143. Too bad. No grand champion for you. Aw, uh, why? That wasn't funny at all. I think you're more suited for an assistant director position. Hey, assistant directors are the directors of the future. Don't underestimate me. Andy's Komeji, on the street. Shut up. What is it now? Oh, Komeji? Let's go. Today we'll be walking around an area that's truly memorable to me. There just aren't rooftop amusement parks like this anymore, you know? A walk-around comedy show with Andy's Komeji. I didn't know he was on one of those. He isn't. This is just his dream. Dream in both senses of the word. It's his dream to have a show like this. Hmm. It's kind of pathetic. Tama, bad. what are you holding in your hand? Hmm, what is this? A sketchbook? Well, anyway, we will, uh... Komeji's stumbling over his words. The sketchbook is a cue card. Tama, you're an assistant director now. You should send him a message using the cue card. This calls for... Say something funny. You gotta break through to him. <sighs> I never okay. intended I'm curious how many mental locks this is, because this part's already been going on That's for fine. a while, but I'm curious as to how many mental locks this is. Say something funny? What do you mean? Uh oh. What does that mean? That's. What's going on? Ryuki, we need to do our thing. Right. Do it, Tama. We need to do our thing. Somnium scan activate! Got 
One mental lock. Two mental lock. Three mental lock. Four. Oh. So we have two, three mental locks and four, four are in this world indebted with Yanero's ideals. Find out what the truth of gain information, what he is hiding. Let's start there. If we're going to talk about Andy's Komeji, we can't miss that place. Let's follow him. Okay, then. It's my show. So how about I go to the next filming location so the staff knows where it is. Then the crew chases me. Oh, no, 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 no. So this person appears to be female based on body shape. Yes, here we go. Sometimes that lemon's gate, yellow spot, river turtles, Atami. Man that act like ballers, but are really scrubs. Slots are the way to go, baby. Anti-aging techniques. So reception is that lemon's gate. She loves a man with a deep, gra gravelly voice, you know. She's totally in love with that shiz. Kinda has an upset stomach lately, which sucks. All right, so we're missing one, two, three, four, five. We're missing five people from six years ago. Pretty sure So Sejima will be on here. All right. Are we gonna get up? Well, it doesn't look like it's a branching path. Alrighty. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be a branching path, so it's four keys though, so. Uh alright guys. Um that is gonna do it for this part of Let's Play. Um Actually, you know what? Hold on, before we do that. Let's save. And let's check out these bonuses. Cause I know like I, I would like to do this, but there's Dream Album. Yo, that's Mizuki's. Yo, I'm glad they kept like I'm glad they have her hair how it is. Although that hair on the right there looks pretty cool too. I wonder if it's because I found. So, my guess is... Hold on. So, I'm, I'm gonna guess this is for finding all the eyeballs. Maybe, I don't know. Concept. Alright, so we got outfits. Mizuki's outfit. Sure. <laughs> Good choice. Hurry and check it out. Come on. Oh, you know, let's buy some. Show me too. Nice. Good choice. Azuki's pipe. Gets you. Show me too. Yo, I do like that. That's some good concept art there. I like that. Hurry and check it out. Come on. Hurry and check it out. Come on. I actually like Tama's eyeball. Um. Um, eyeball, uh, form. But anyway, guys, yeah, that's gonna do it for this part of Let's Play AI, the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. In the next part, guys, we will, uh, go into Komeji's, uh, Somnium and see what he has hidden. I would have done it in this part, but we're already, like, so far into this, um, 
we're already so far into this already. But we did go to a Tommy again, so I, I have to, I like that. Uh, I'm, I'm actually curious if uh, Mizuki's gonna have some kind of an ending like that too in her side. Uh, this is fun. I'm still, I'm enjoying this game a lot. And I honestly can't wait to like just see how crazy this game is gonna get. So, I'm actually, again, I'm curious if we're gonna go into the Somnium of some of the people that we have before in it. Like, uh, when we go do Mizuki's side, are we gonna go into, like, say, um, I mean, I highly doubt, um, I highly doubt we'd be going into, um, what's, um, uh, the, the pre- I mean, if she's dead, we can't really go into her Somnium. So, unless she gets re resurrected, I don't know. I'm so curious as to see how Mizuki's side is going to be. But I'm glad we're doing Ryu Ryuki's side first. Because I think this is really good that we figure out everything that happened six years ago first. Like, we figure everything that happened six years ago first before we even try to do the present stuff. Or at least as far as we can go. So, yeah. But, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Guys, if you liked the video, please give the like button a click. And comment down below if you liked about the video, didn't like about the video. And let me know, guys, what, what did you think of um uh, all the things we learned? And again, I thought so Sejima died or something, but I guess no. I guess he stayed alive, didn't he? I don't know. It's been a while since I played the first game. I should... I mean, I guess I really don't need to play it, but I do need to play it to get the rest of the trophies and that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm curious as to what... Uh, um, if we'll be go diving into him again. But again, so far, all the people who've got, gone into Somniums have been different people. So, although we're going to Kojima, or uh, Kojima, or however you say his name, um, I thought it was his son we were gonna go into next, but nope. Seems like it's, uh... Hmm. Seems like it's, uh, his father first. But I have a feeling we will at some point go into his head, and same with Gen. And maybe one of the two new girls as well, or both of them. Maybe one's for, on Iris, on, uh, Mizuki's side, and the other one's on this side or something. We'll see. So yeah, let me know. As always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat, and subscribe to the main channel too, that's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter, both my mentor with RBG Kim Kid Twitter are in there too. Thank you all so much for watching once again, and I will see you all next time.